Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be covering M. Bison. He made his first appearance in the arcade video game Street Fighter II, The World Warrior, that was released in March of 1991. He's also known as Master Bison, or The Dictator, and he's a human male that stands just shy of six feet tall, standing five foot, 11 and three quarter inches, and weighing 247 pounds. Having pure white eyes with no irises, and formerly having black hair, but now his hair is pure white. Now, M. Bison is one of the most iconic and well-known bosses and enemies of any video game franchise, being easily recognizable by his wide, devilish grin, while typically donning his red military uniform with large, oversized shoulder pads, wristbands, and shin guards. M. Bison is bent on world domination and is an extremely powerful and cold dictator, not being capable of any empathy or love towards anyone. Now, most of this extreme power and callousness stems from his use of something called psychopower. And this is generally considered an evil or negative energy source that's been described as the dark side of the soul power, which is a power that's demonstrated by another Street Fighter character named Rose. Now, M. Bison uses this to feed off of the fear, anger, and hatred in others. And this actually causes him to get more powerful the more negative energy he absorbs. It's also noted that this psycho power can affect the way its users appear, changing the look of their skin, eyes, and hair, which has easily been seen in M. Bison himself, as well as its other most popular wielder, which was Violent Ken. It's also worth noting that there's a strong implied connection between the evil Satsui no Hado, which dwells within powerful beings like Ryu and Akuma. Matter of fact, Bison has even said that the Satsui no Hado was actually the ultimate form of psycho power. And when using this dark energy, Bison is shown to have considerable superhuman strength, speed, and agility. He's also expressed near mystical powers, such as flight, becoming intangible, teleportation, telekinesis, soul manipulation, mind control, as well as actually regenerating his health particularly through the use of a device called the Psycho Drive, which acts as an amplifier and channels this power to him. And in his maximum state, you can even add the ability of making duplicates of himself. M. Bison has a move set that's too numerous to name, but he molds the Psycho Power within him to enhance various iterations of some of his classic moves. A few examples of these being his Psycho Crusher, his Double Knee Press or Scissor Kicks, the Head Press, Psycho Shot, Psycho Reflect, Psycho Blast, and Psycho Inferno. Now, part of the allure to M. Bison is that we have very little information about his past, not knowing anything about his birth or country of origin. One of the few things that we do know is that long ago, he was just your typical young martial artist, but he had extreme ambitions. So in order to become the best in the world, at some point in his past, he made that age-old transition. He chose to give up his morals for power. He took out his own master, who was said to be the only person in the world that could manipulate the evil psycho power, and who is claimed to have only passed on this power to three other students before he died, M. Bison being one of them. From that point forward, Bison was obsessed with being the most powerful person in the world seeking out to learn the techniques of other elite fighters and to defeat them. M. Bison would walk over everyone in his way. That is, until one day he came up against Gokin, who happens to have been the old master of Ryu and Akuma. Bison unsuccessfully confronted this powerful master, but he was able to analyze and see firsthand the power of the Ansetsuken fighting style. Bison would go on to build a powerful evil empire called Shadowloo, which he would use to help him in his campaign. And despite all of the powerful fighters that he would have on his side, such as Vega, Balrog, and Fang, he would become obsessed with the fighter Ryu after he defeated one of his most powerful lieutenants named Sagat. From that point forward, Bison would dedicate much of his time and resources to either recruiting or destroying Ryu. Now, for his powers and abilities and his influence on the Street Fighter universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give M. Bison a rating of 10, which is a legendary rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. 
I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like and subscribe to The New Sage.